Hi there, welcome to my kitchen. This is Becky from ColorFairy.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a 4-in-1 food tester. This is the Soex Ecovisor F4. So this tester does four things. Number one, it tests nitrates in foods such as fruit, vegetables, fish and meat. Number two, it tests radiation exposure. Number three, it tests electromagnetic fields. And number four, it tests water quality. Now obviously this is quite a technological piece. There's numbers and facts and statistics that go with this. You can get all those techie bits on my blog post, which I'll link to within this video and also below the video. And you can also get more details over on the brand website. Um, but in this video today, I'm going to show you how the device works from a user's perspective. So pop over to those websites for all the techie bits and numbers. So to start off, let's see what comes in the box. So we have the Soex Ecovisor F4, which is this little device. And then it comes with a charging cord. The device has rechargeable batteries included with it. So when it comes, you can just plug it in to charge it and it comes with this manual which is quite extensive and as you see it gives you information on how to set up and then it also goes through and explains each of the four testings and it gives you the levels as well so really this is your guide that explains everything you need to know about using this and you can see the colored um, pictures screenshots if you will of what each of the result screens will say and what that means. So it's very easy to use. It is usable straight out of the box. There's no setting up of accounts or downloading apps or anything like that. When it arrives, you just simply turn it on and you can start using it. It arrived for me with about 25% charge so I could try it out right away and then charge it and get going. Turn it on, you simply press and hold the OK button until the screen comes on. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how this works. So we'll go through the different screens and I'm gonna test out some fruits and some water. We have water that just is piped in, it's regular mains water. And then we also have a reverse osmosis filter that filters our drinking water. So we can see if the eco tester can tell the difference and what kind of numbers come up for the fruits and veg. So the idea um, with the fruits and veg and the nitrates is basically fertilizers and chemicals that are used um, when growing fruits and veg can get into the food and it can create high levels of nitrates. So this tester will let us know what's what. You see the menu comes straight up and down here at the bottom we have the settings. So you can go through with the arrows on the screen or you can use these arrows down here and you can adjust things like the brightness, the sound, um, the date and time, all these different things, um, touch screen options. Go out of there, over down here at the bottom is information if you want to get in touch with the manufacturer. So we've got the four functions up here at the top. So looking at the menu here up on the top in green is your nitrate tester. So it's got a list of fruits, vegetables, and meats and fishes through here. So you select the one, you want to test and it will come up with a nitrate reading and then next over here is a dosimeter which measures uh, the radiation exposure in the background and then down here we have EMF which records electromagnetic fields and you can do this as you see at the bottom here you've got indoor outdoor household appliances and I was testing this on a few of my appliances in the house generally and I found I had to be 10 feet away from the microwave when it was in use for this to be a normal reading. So that was eye-opening and something good to know. And then over here on H2O, that is your water quality reader. Okay, let's test out some fruit and some water to see what's going on here. So I'll start off with the fruit. So we go ahead and remove the plastic covering from the bottom and that reveals the probe which is what you put into the water and into the fruit to test it. 
So we go ahead here and we select the green here at the top, which is the nitrate level. Now we go through and we select the name of the fruit that we're going to test. And you can use the little arrow on the screen or you can use the white arrow here at the bottom to go through and find the fruit, vegetable, meat or fish that you want to test. So we'll start with the cherry tomato. So we select that and it's calibrating and now it tells us it's time to measure. We take the tomato, insert the probe, and hit measure. And there we go. It's telling us um, it's normal nitrate level and it's 87. And we can look here in the guide that comes with it as well and it shows us the normal and high and kind of I suppose mid-range and what all that means of if it's safety or how much of it you should be eating. So we go ahead if I wanted to repeat with um, a different tomato I would just hit repeat otherwise we can X out and go in and pick another piece of fruit to test. go ahead and choose grapes and it's ready to go so we go ahead and push the probe into the grape and hit measure and there we go happily that's normal levels again which is great to see if you have a fruit or veg that's at the end of the list like watermelon would be you can hit the up arrow instead and come up that way it doesn't take as long to get there calibrating and we'll go ahead and measure the watermelon. So with any fruit or veg like um, that might have an opening on the inside like a pepper you just have to make sure that the probe is actually in the flesh. Now with the watermelon we're getting a high level of nitrates at 128 as you can see here. And last we'll check out the pineapple. but that's normal nitrates as well. So now we'll go ahead and test out the waters and see if we can tell which one is the water through the reverse osmosis system and which is just the water out of the main. So we'll go ahead and hit H2O here. It's calibrating and then we'll measure the waters. I'm going to take this one first. telling us it's soft water at a level of 178. At our guidebook here, which kind of lists off the scale of drinking water quality, and you'll see that that level comes up as satisfactory water coming out of the mains. So now we'll try this one. Water again. Insert the probe in the water and you have to make sure you don't put it above that line. soft water at 89 so that brings us down in the blue section which is the good drinking water and reverse osmosis system you can check out my blog post which is linked below the video as well as the products website for more information and to buy one of these Seox Equalizer F4 four-in-one testers so thanks so much for watching today and have a great day